Okay, so question five. It says, give a general solution, the general solution to the linear homogeneous unit differential equation with quantum square function that this is given. So, I've got it in this, this form where the D is the derivative operator, and that makes it easy to write down the D auxiliary polynomial. It's going to be like this. Uh, now, can, else, can lambda squared, lambda squared plus lambda plus 1, can that be factorized? Um, so lambda should equal minus b, so minus 1, plus minus the square root of 4, the square root of, minus b, the square root of, the square root of b squared minus 4 is 3, so 1 squared, 1 minus 4, hence I can see 4, yes, this is, this is uh, going to give us uh, complex roots over 2a, you know, 2. Okay, so that lambda then is minus 1 plus minus the square root of, plus minus 3 times i. The square root of minus 1 is the square root of minus 3. Oh, no, sorry, the square root of 3 times i. Ah, over 2, over 2. Okay, that's, that's what the other lambda is. The factor was, was that. Okay, so that means that the, 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 this, the, there's going to be a bunch of solutions, which we then pull together into one linear thing. So the the n plus one that one's easy that will give us e to the minus x t what oh this doesn't say let's just use an x um, sorry about the noise in the background that's my cats um, the next one lambda minus two cubed that gives us a bunch of terms it gives us e to the first term is e to the 2x, then we have x e to the 2x, and then we have x squared e to the 2x, so it's three terms. Then the complex things will give us a sine and a cosine. So the minus half, the real part of it, that is reflected in having e to the, to the minus half, yes, e to the minus half x. And then the other bit is reflected now you have sine of root 3 over 2 x, and then the other factor will be e to the minus half x cos root 3 over 2x. Okay, then you put those together in a linear combination. Okay, so let's write that down. So what's it? d plus 1, d minus 2 cubed, d squared plus d plus 1, y. So our equation is, whoops, it's d plus 1, d minus 2 cubed, d squared plus d plus 1 y equals 0. So the auxiliary polynomial is lambda plus 1, lambda minus 2 cubed, lambda squared plus lambda plus 1. Now, saying that equals 0 tells you that the roots are lambda equals minus 1, then 2, 2, and 2, so 2, 3 times, and then lambda equals, what was it? It was minus a half plus minus square root of 3 over 2 i, which means that the solution, general solution, will be a linear combination of the terms we found above. Let me just check those terms, actually. I didn't check them. It, oh, no, it's going to be horrible to check them because it's a huge thing. I'm not going to bother checking them. Right? It's going to be horrible to check that. Let me try. Let me try. If it's horrible, I'll stop. So the first one, e to the minus x, that might be okay to check. So e to the minus x, so if we have, we have d plus 1, d minus 2, you know what, I'll check it, I'll check it below. The things we get, yeah, sorry. So the point is that this, uh, this thing is a e to the, you know, we call it a1 e to the minus x plus a2 e to the, 2x plus a3 x e to the 2x plus a4 x squared e to the 2x. Um, plus a5 e to the minus half x 
sine of root 3 over 2x plus a6 times e to the minus a half x cos of root 3 over 2x. No, that would be horrible to check. It's not worth it. Let me double check maybe my solution to this. Uh, so the, the 2 and the, the minus 1 and the 2, that's very clear, but just maybe double check my solution to lambda squared plus lambda plus 1. I said that the solutions to that were of the form minus a half plus minus the square root of 3 over 2i. So in other words, if I square that and add it to itself, I should get 0. Okay, I should get 0. What actually happens? So we get minus a no, sorry, plus a quarter, and then if you have the plus the plus term, so you go what half half times that, and then this times by two. So you just have you just have oh no wait the minus a half times that flips the sign, so you have like minus plus, and then you have it twice with these two terms. 2 minus half appears twice, and then you times it by itself, and it, the sign, the minus goes away, and oh, it comes back because i gets, I gets uh, squared, which is minus 1. Okay, so that minus a half plus minus root 3 over 2i plus 1 should equal 0, does it? So we have this term cancels with that term that gets rid of the that gets rid of the i. Oh, it's not at root three over two. It's actually three over two because it's root three squared. So we have a quarter minus three over two minus a half plus one. But that's not looking good. It's not three over two. It's three over four, of course. Two squared. So a quarter minus three over four. That's minus a half. Then minus a half plus one. Yes. Okay. So this is all right. So this is just checking that we really did solve that we really, really did solve the uh, polynomial properly I'm really sorry about the cats and that's the final solution